Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and we are live at the Crafters Workshop here hey at everybody. with Ken. How you doing? <laughs> we are at NAMTA, which is the Art Materials World, and we're in San Antonio, and you have an amazing new launch you want to tell us about, right? Yeah, I'm excited about this. In fact, um, you might know if you uh, have seen Color Burst before, or seen anything that I do, that Color Burst and stencils from the Crafters Workshop go hand in hand. And uh, we've worked with uh, Crafters Workshop to develop something really special that you're going to love. Uh, we have new three packs of Color Burst. I'm going to hold these up so you can kind of see what that is. But look how cool this is. We put a little packets of Color Burst together with colors that coordinate and go together. This one, for example, is called Mermaid Tails. And it's got turquoise, lime green, and chartreuse. And it is beautiful. But the thing is, like, we've made these with specific like, stencils in mind, so that if you get a mermaid stencil, you can get the mermaid tails uh, uh, set of color bursts in three, and then you're all set to go. So I'm super excited about that, and we'll like kind of flip the camera here to show you what we've got, because this is mermaid tails. This one is sunny days, and it's got that beautiful gamboge yellow, olive green, and cerulean blue. Look at this, Calypso. It's got those beautiful warm colors of the Caribbean lemon yellow marigold and peony look at this unicorn magic oh i love that name i know and like <laughs> unicorns are big and, and the crafters workshop has some wonderful unicorn stencils so we got fuchsia orchid and tangerine and unicorn magic then this one is beautiful ocean oh. waves that's got violet ultramarine blue and green and if you want to see that's my favorite look at here's an example of like what that ocean waves looks like in an ocean oh, uh, stencil. And then this last one, autumn leaves. And this is um, yellow ochre, burnt orange, and burnt umber. Very pretty. Very pretty. So I'm super excited about this because it gives you a chance to try out three at a time. And they're specially themed to go along with certain stencils. Cool. So can we see them in action? Sure. Let's do it. So I want to show you kind of the most basic way to use color bursts with stencils. Um, I have a seaweed stencil here and one of my mixed media boards, and this is dry. So I'm gonna lay my stencil down, and then I'm actually gonna choose the mermaid tails assortment because I think that those colors will be beautiful on this uh, seaweed. Oh, it's amazing on that. So for those people that wanna be able to find these, when are they launching? Uh, they should be on the retail site of uh, the Crafters Workshop very, very soon. We are ready to ship. And um, other than that, they'll be showing up um, at your local stores uh, soon as well. Very cool. So I've got my dry stencil down. I've got my uh, mixed media mat. And all I'm gonna do now is just sprinkle color bursts on top of this um, stencil. And if you haven't used color bursts before, it's watercolor, but it's not in a cake and it's not in a cube, it's a powder. So all you have to do is sprinkle and spritz. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit of color burst down. And it really doesn't take a whole lot because the powder is so intense and so concentrated. It's the powder with the power. It's like, it's crazy. This is definitely a little bit goes a long way methodology yes. we learned as kids. <laughs> little dabble do ya. But it is amazing to use because with just a little bit of a spritz and sprinkle, you can get some really amazing uh, intense colors. And some of the colors when they're coming out don't look like what they're going to look like when you get wet. Just because they're so concentrated, right. yeah. Like you might notice that the lime green actually looks brown. Right. But that's just because it's so concentrated cool. that uh, it will look, you know, like it just shows it in its most concentrated form and it looks kind of brown whenever it's not wet. And then I'm just going to give this a nice little spritz of water and watch this. Like magic. It is magic. And just like that. We have like this really cool seaweed painting. Isn't that beautiful? So that, that's your basic way to use color bursts and stencils together. Um, I want to show you another way that is yes. so ultimately cool. Like this is one of my favorite techniques. I've already made a background using those same colors from uh, Mermaid Tails. And I'm going to grab a stencil. I'm going to lay it. This is, and I'll let it dry. Mm -hmm. I allowed that to dry. 
And then I'm going to lay this stencil on top of this. And for those that don't know, how long would it take, for instance, for this one that we just made to dry? Oh, not very long. Okay. You know, like uh, in, a hot, in a hot, humid place, that might take longer. But if you live in Phoenix, it'll dry in a second. <laughs> and if you want to speed up the dry, you can use a heat tool. Okay. But it doesn't take a long time at all. Does it distort the color if you use a heat gun? Not at all. Perfect. Um, I'm going to lay a stencil on top of this background that I already made with mermaid tails. Ready. Love that stencil. And I know because it's got a beautiful butterfly in it. And this is a new stencil from the Crafters Workshop and Rebecca Meyer. <laughs> then I'm going to use some of uh, the Crafters Workshop black modeling paste and a palette knife. And if you've never used a palette knife before, uh, you want to definitely try this because it will change your world. In fact, like I have some other examples here um, on the table that you'll want to see after I do this. So I'm going to lay my stencil down and with the palette knife, just spread this through the stencil. It's almost like icing a cake. When you start doing this, you'll find that it's almost therapeutic and relaxing because it's just, um, I don't know what it is. It's like spreading this is like icing a cake and it's like very relaxing. I always, I always related it to, it feels like Nutella because it's not as hard as peanut butter. Right. It's not as soft as like other things you can spread, but to Nutella just seems like the right. Yeah texture but it, the, some of the colors are so yummy you just want to eat them it's like no 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 don't eat it don't eat it <laughs> oh you're gonna be thrilled by this because this stencil has a lot of really tiny details and using a pellet knife with this black modeling paste is a real way to like let you see all those little tiny details Rebecca stencils always have little bits of things here and there and everywhere that is just it's perfect you put it on and it's magical. And I'm going to lift this up the big and look at that beautiful design. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. Look at that. And I love that contrast of the black against all those colors. Me it's too. Perfect. Me too. So this is another one you've done, but that's with another a different one. Right, same technique. Yeah. That actually uses the um, Calypso assortment. That is this one. Very fun. So you had a couple others you wanted us to see. Yeah, check out all these examples I did with the mermaid tails and um, okay. underwater looking stencils. Here's a sea turtle. There are dolphins. Very There's fun. Fish. fish. And these are all Crafters Workshop stencils. All Crafters Workshop Very along cool. with the new three packs that we uh, made a color burst just for the Crafters Workshop. Very cool. And you can obviously turn them, all these pieces that you have, you can turn them into cards or tags or, you know, there's so many options for them. Right. Thanks again. Have a great day. Uh, and I appreciate you joining us uh, here at NAMCA. Try those three packs. You're really going to love them. Thank you so much, Ken. Appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.